Richard, thank you for being here with us today. Can you give our audience uh, a quick summary of your panel discussion here? What sort of themes came out of the, uh, the discussion surrounding sustainability in emerging markets? Well, thank you for having me, Angela. I mean, I guess the, there are three points I think worth, worth stressing. One, one is the importance of managing risk and looking at risk uh, by avoiding a siloed approach. You have to look at risk by understanding the relationship between risks how one is going to impact on another and how measures to mitigate one can impact on another. I think the second issue is the business of engaging multiple stakeholders because it's one thing to put together a strategy to manage risk. But unless you get buy-in from stakeholders, and that means a pretty wide variety of stakeholders. In the mining industry, of course, it's not just your, your customer, your suppliers, but it's also the communities you're operating amongst, the governments who are responsible for agreeing your license to operate, and indeed the wider community, NGOs, I mean, there are plenty of anti-mining NGOs out there as we saw yesterday with the demonstrations out there. So it's about highlighting, I think, the importance of sustainability, about uh, ESG standards, about uh, the standards exemplified by the Global Reporting Index and taking account of those. And then we'd also highlight the importance of stress testing your strategies once you've put together those strategies to manage risk. I mean, the, I'm an ex-soldier, I'm an ex -soldier. in my old world we'd call it wargaming, and it's a good term, to really put plans under pressure, while asking the what-if questions, what can go wrong, and what resources might we need in order to mitigate the risks of things going wrong, contingency plans if they do go wrong, reserves to deploy uh, in terms of resources and others. Uh, to get to avert problems. So those are some of the things that came out and I think it's the, it all exemplified by this growing theme of uh, sustainability and in a sense um, recognizing that the best way to protect value and manage risk is through shared prosperity. Prosperity for the companies of course because that's what capitalism is about but also uh, prosperity for the communities, the regions, the countries in which they're operating. So what do you think investors should keep in mind when they are looking at investing in a company that is operating in an emerging market which brings its own challenges? I would ask the key question, is this a company that can uh, think, plan and act strategically when it comes to managing risks? Is there a clear strategy? Is there, a, is there clarification of a vision or desired set of circumstances or a rolling end state where the company wants to be in 5, 10, 15, 20, even longer years time? And, and how is it looking? Has it got an effective strategy that is designed to look across risks and manage them accordingly? And, and that may need a degree of third party independent assurance that it's got that. But I think, and of course, they should, the second point I'd make is they should not take counsel of fears. I mean, the world is a risky place. Uh, but it's all about recognizing that it's risk management that allows a risk to become an opportunity uh, and not a risk. So Richard, thank you for sharing your thoughts with us today. Sustainability is obviously a very important topic in the mining industry, so we appreciate it very much. Thank you for having me.